I'm in the Dark Ages, and oh no. Dragons have taken over the world. These dragons have over one million hearts. Will I defeat them or will I die by dragon fire? The Haspian rumor that a powerful being seeks out the Arkenstone. Then we must protect it, Maximilian. Yes, my king. Go seek out the princess and protect her. Someone may be seeking the Arkenstone. As you wish. It all started as I found myself staring down a massive castle. Hey there, are you new around here? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, any suggestions on what's cool to do? Mm, the lake has some nice fishing. Maybe go check that out. Oh, uh, thanks. Man, what a peaceful place. I'm really going to enjoy this hundred days. The princess walked off, but I got a weird feeling in my stomach. Something wasn't right. A knight with a sword approached the princess. Then they walked off together. Hey, 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 stop. I ran after them. He stole the princess. I saw the knight in the distance. I had to save the princess. There he is. That's the kidnapper. The guards thought I kidnapped her. I ran as fast as I could. I had to catch the kidnapper. There she is. Get him, men. The guards were here. This wasn't good. I ran into a house to hide. Here he is. Kill him. There was no way out. Guys, guys, no, we can talk about it. I quickly broke the carpet, placed it, but the guards were killing me. I struggled through. I got to the window and I used the trap door to sneak out. Oh, how am I alive? Okay, I need to find the princess and clear myself. There was the knight and the princess. She was pushed down some sort of hole when all of a sudden the knight slowly turned. His eyes did not seem of this world. He stared at me, then disappeared down. I chased across the bridge. There was a ladder leading down to a cave. I scurried down, got up, and looked for the knight. Little did I know the true nature of what was happening. Stay here. I need to talk to the king. Ah, I see you've returned, Maximilian. What do you seek? I have captured the princess, but a player has been chasing me. He is unaware that there are other players in this world. I need you to kill him while I take the princess. Ah, leave it to me. Let's go, princess. Our time is coming. Yes, sir. As I pushed down the cave, I began hearing an eerie noise. What on earth and what or who is that? I maneuvered my way down to the bottom, being very careful to not let my last heart be captured. What on earth? These things react to sound. As I got closer to the entity, it started staring straight at a portal thing. I right-clicked it and got all the armor from the entity, but it didn't move. All of a sudden, it disappeared. I was on my guard. I checked out the armor, but it was in a different language except for the helmet. The warden cap. I found a chest and inside some much-needed food. Another chest on the far side had some rotten fruit and some fresh food. Some things still live down here if there was food. What? What was that? Uh... The noise sent shivers down my spine. Goblins! They were coming at me for no reason! This must be their stash! I smashed my sword into them and took them out one by one. Okay, well... Well, that wasn't so bad. Why do I open my mouth? The monster and I began to battle. My sword did little damage. I ran back in for some swings when it charged me with full force and batted me back. This isn't looking good. Oh, in the air. Why, why did I throw a snowball? That doesn't even help. Things weren't looking that bright. The beast managed to charge right through me and I dodged it. Ah, take that. What are those circle things? Oh, come on. An entire army was here. I was so screwed. Everything came at me at once. The giant beast hit me back and I circled around, hoping to pick off some of the stragglers. All right, one down. Oh, okay. Oh, I got in the air. Three potatoes left when I charged down an alley and took out another. They were swarming me. Three hearts, two potatoes. Things weren't looking good. I tried to hold them off, but I had nothing left. With no food, I knew I had to escape. Wait, soldiers? No, 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 oh, no. Soldiers rushed in and began battling. They had found me. I took off. I ran down a tunnel, but then soldiers trapped me. I turned. More soldiers. They began hitting me. It, it was over. Before we find out what happens next, this video is brought to you by Rec Room. Rec Room is a free-to-play game that can be downloaded using the link in the description or the QR code on screen. Rec Room has an open-world voice chat so you're able to play with your friends or even make brand new friends while you play. This guy is just in front of me, just blocking the way. Everyone's it. Oh, Chris. <laughs> Seriously, get away. <laughs> I don't know how to... I don't even know no. if I'm hitting you. You got smoke, kid? Rec Room is even fully cross-play, so you can play with people that are on iOS, Android, PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, and even VR. Rec Room has over 12 million different rooms and games to be explored, so there's something to be enjoyed by everybody. One of my favorite games was the paintball game, where I was able to snipe all the noobs. Then I dominated their parkour map, just like I do in Minecraft. And then I dodged my way through some dodgeball. I was pretty much invisible. You're also able to customize 
customize your character to look however you want. I've always wanted a mustache since I can't grow one in real life. You can download Rec Room using the link in the description below and have fun exploring through all the rooms Rec Room has to offer. And who knows, you might even bump into me. Now, back to the video. Whoa, I was teleported somewhere strange. I looked around and I realized I was in prison. Oh, oh, it's the princess. I'm saved. I'm so sorry. Wait, wait, what's going on? He's the one who did it, guard. You're gonna be executed in 10 minutes. Enjoy your last moments on Earth. I was so confused. She she, she lied. I, I'm gonna die. I, I had to get out of here. I broke the sea lantern on the roof, but there was no way out. As I broke the oak plank, I saw some sort of tunnel. There was no way for me to fit in there, though. I glanced around. I had an idea. I had to be quiet, though. I broke the other pieces of wood, made a crafting table, and used up the wood for a trap door. Yes, here we go. The tunnel felt as empty as my heart. I was betrayed. The princess lied. I would seek my revenge. As my blood began to boil, I looked around for the next clue to escape this prison. I had to get up to the next room. I quickly realized that the door would lead me up. I broke it and used a glitch where you can jump on it to get up two blocks, but I still wasn't out yet. Now this is odd. I need to get across there. The chasm before me looked impossible to cross. I glanced around the room. Lights, a piston, the ground. I tried to sleep, but that didn't work. I opened the chest to see if anything could help me, and I found lava and cobble and a stick. Time was ticking though. I had to get out fast. Beside the chest, there was an ice block hidden. I first thought of a cobblestone generator, but how would I mine the blocks? I broke the item frame, but nothing more was in there. I had an idea though. I used the lever to prop up the piston, then the lava. I let the water melt, grabbed it, and placed it over. Maybe I could make some sort of cobble cast with the lava. I placed the lava over it and boom! But I still needed a few more blocks. I grabbed the piston, placed it, and I got over it. I had done it. In the next room, I found a sword. I must be so close. I began destroying the cobwebs and then the sword broke. Well, I guess I'm not using that for anything. Nothing was behind the crafting table. I, I looked at what I had. The crafting table wasn't enough to get over. Time was ticking, though, and I needed to hurry. I reanalyzed my inventory, trying to figure out what I could make to get over. Oh, I, I can make a wool block. I made the string into a block and used it to get over the wall, but I was still in another room. I grabbed up the mushrooms, then hit the button and got a cornflower? I broke the slab in the crafting bench and used the blocks to get out. This was so easy. The battalion was almost here. Soon they would kill me. I hustled ahead. As I looked around, there was a huge gap again. I checked the chest. This would be easy? Maybe? I tried the gravel first, but I didn't trust myself parkouring across that. I made a decision that I was going to try at parkour. I placed down the blocks. Eh, this was looking uneasy. I was able to zip across, though. This is it. I sprinted through. I got up to the main floor. I crossed the room, I spotted the guard. No, how did? Look, I'm just doing my job. I wandered over to the chest. I broke my armor out and I opened the chest and grabbed my sword. I walked down to the soldier. Look, it's just my job, man. I didn't mean what I said. Please, I have kids. I had no mercy left in me. I struck and the guard fell. I was filled with rage. I was going to dismantle the kingdom piece by piece. I was going to tear them apart and rage over the land. I felt be trade. I was running when all of a sudden... What on earth is that? Do you seek power? I drew my sword and slowly approached. I'm gonna destroy the kingdom. Let me help you. Why are you late? I was interfered with. Did you bring the princess? I lost her. Does that player Mudflaps know that there are other players in this world? No, and we can't let him. I'm gonna go mining. Then, I'm gonna kill him. Good. Tell me more. The Arkenstone would make you the most powerful entity in the world. The Arkenstone was the envy of the past world. A battle that scourged the Earth took place, and beings from other worlds attacked, claiming it for their own. Eventually, the stone was broken into three pieces by the Council of Dragons. It is rumored that the first piece lays in the Castle of the Sky. Retrieve it, and I will help guide you to the next, and then tell you the secret of the princess. I pondered for a moment. When the figure disappeared, I knew what I had to do. I ran into the graveyard. Whoa, a totem. I began collecting some wood when all of a sudden a beast attacked me. Oh shoot, what is this thing? It backed me down and then I destroyed it. I was going to find this ark in stone and take down the kingdom. I made a pickaxe and continued looting the chests. I found a golden apple and some golden carrots. Ew, ew, is that a rat? What?
What on earth? I found a bit more loot and then I headed out. Killed some animals for food and began the quest for the castle in the sky where my destiny awaited me. A few days later as I was roaming through the plains, I glanced up and I noticed a figure. It, it's, it's the knight. I gazed right at him. He ran like a peasant. I chased. I was going to destroy this NPC. We finally meet. Are you going to say something like it's my destiny to save the kingdom? I looked around. Something felt wrong. This figure didn't seem like an NPC. No, I'm going to kill you. I heard it. TNT. The floor was rigged. I tried to run when it all exploded. I was shot into the air. I had a totem, but this may be the end. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm too high. I'm too high. As I landed, I popped the totem, but I survived. I was on some sort of chunk glitch. I had to get back and face that thing. I looked around, but there was no water close enough to jump. I checked every side. Nothing. This isn't good. Frick. I checked inside the chapel. There was a brewing stand and some blaze, but nothing useful. As I got back out, evening began. I rechecked, but I saw no water close. I may die up here. There was no way off. I grabbed up the cobblestone pile to see if maybe there was some iron hiding in there. Nothing. Th this may be over. Th there's no way down. This notch apple won't save me from that fall. Something felt off about all of this. That thing didn't act like a normal entity. It almost acted like a player, but that's impossible. I checked my inventory. I tried to study what was around. A cauldron, some sand, some coarse dirt. Oh, this couldn't get any better, could it? Phantoms fell from the sky, destroying me. I ran around desperately trying to attack them. I hacked away. I dropped one, then two. Come here, you ugly bird. I glanced down. I thought about letting the next group of phantoms just end me. I checked all possible crafting. It was over. Wait, phantoms. I got it. I ran outside, grabbed sand, grabbed oak, and made a crafting bench. I crafted a furnace, smelted the sand. It made so much sense now. How didn't I think of it before? I crafted bottles, filled them up, and used nether wart to make awkward potions. I then delicately placed the phantom membrane. Slow falling potions. I'm coming for that soldier. I drank up and jumped off. It was working. I got to the ground and peered around. He had left. I'm sure I'd see him later, but I had a more important mission right now. I had to get to the castle and get the Arkenstone. You've arrived. I brought the princess. I can feel her power. You promised me I'd be a powerful witch if I helped you. All I've gotten is... Silence! Your time is coming. We must find the other pieces of the Arkenstone. You will go to the council and inform them that a player has been collecting the other pieces and if he gets them all, will come for you next. Let us travel to the edge of the world then. Days later, after scaling a mountain, I saw it at the legendary floating castle where the first piece of the Arkenstone lay. I had to get up there, so I made some shovels, collected a bit of dirt, and then I got close to the water when... Uh, is that a Kraken health bar? Yeah, I'm not gonna swim. I used the dirt from where I was to pillar up over to the castle. All right, almost there. Okay, you, wait, you can't break this? The castle walls were impervious to damage. I ran around trying to find what was making them invincible. I jumped into a small pond where I was poisoned by a puffer fish. What did I do? Next to the death fish, I found a giant tree. I roamed around, but it didn't seem to have anything. I was quite confused. I ran to the back where I found a door. Huh, unlock. What's in here? I found some keys in the barrel. They seemed to be color-coded. They unlocked each door, but as I got to the back, it was a straight drop down. Well, it can't be any worse than living on a chunk glitch. Oof. Okay, well, that wasn't so bad. Bouncy. Inside the room, I found some chests. The first was empty, but the second had a ton of golden carrots. I'm sure whoever lives here won't mind. I slowly made my way into the hall. I came across a yellow door, and then at the end, a hallway. Huh, a button. What does this do? I tried looking behind it, but I didn't see anything. And then I spotted it, a lever! First try. It opened a spot in the wall where I found more keys, mending books, and golden apples. This place was loaded. I was gonna come out super powerful. The Arkenstone and the kingdom were mine. I slowly made my way around a corner. Something was here. What is that thing? I was attacked, but I was able to fend off the crazy sorcerer. I walked forward when two more lunged out at me. I had to back up. Two hearts. Oh, I need to heal. I was able to get one down.
now and then I ran back and took out the other. I was getting closer. I could feel the Arkenstone. What is? Oh, golly, Coopers. What are these things? Why do they exist? I had to eat a golden apple. I was barely alive. I hit a dead end, used a red key, and sprinted down some sort of water funnel. Let me out, let me out. I escaped. I had made it. But as I looked forward, guarding the Arkenstone were ancient mechanical beasts. I can do this. Oh, okay. It shoots arrows. Oh, hello, cow. The cow shot fire. I thought cows liked people. I ran away and ate a golden apple. I tried to hit it, but I was on fire again. Uh, this isn't good. I ate another golden apple. The bull was wrecking me. How far I had to notch apple. Ha! Take that. With the bull down, I ran at the giant mechanical beast. It was hitting me, but I was doing way more damage. Then it fell. Woohoo! I walked up and grabbed the orb in the center. One third of the Arkenstone. Soon I'd be so powerful. How will we get the council to tell us where the Arkenstone fragments are? That is your job. I am simply here to get you there alive. I'll simply have to make them see it's better in my hands than that player's. I got out of that horrid castle and headed out to find the masked man who promised me power. Is that one of those army camps? I sprinted in. I didn't like soldiers. I started swinging, but his buddy started getting up on me. Holy biscuits. Okay, there's a lot. Oh. I was getting swamped. I had to get away. They were coming from everywhere. Oh no, I'm, I'm dead. What the? You have returned with the Arkenstone fragment. Now, let me guide you to the next. I was in shock. He, he destroyed everyone. Deep in the south, there is a place known as the Iron Mountains. The forest is dense with creatures not of this world, but if you should make it past them and climb the mountain, the peak contains a man of ancient descent, said to roam the world for neons. He holds a fragment of the Arkenstone, or so the story goes. Whoa, he's gone. A chest spawn next to him. I opened it and inside was some crazy armor and weapons. As I was traveling through the forest, what is that? I turned and headed towards the noise. Soldiers! They were attacking a villager. I swung my steel into them in a barrage, hoping to drive them to their grave. Down they all went, one by one. I turned to the villager, still enraged. Oh, thank you. Please, my village needs help. I don't help people. All our gold was taken. Gold? Show me the way. This gold would make me rich. The villager brought me to a massive village. This village was definitely wealthy. He then brought me to the village leader. My men say you're honorable. Beasts have taken all our gold and valuable items. Where did they take it? To the south of here, we aren't enough to take them down. Retrieve it and we will give you some. Sounds like a plan. I had no intent of returning it. These riches were mine. Just as the leader had told me I found the cave and went inside the dark depths. I saw a clearing at the end of the tunnel. What on earth are those ugly forms of creatures? They needed to be erased. I charged down. They launched their arrows at me and swung clubs. Take that and this, you buck uh, things. I had never fought such ugly creatures. As I pushed across the bridge, I tried to push them off, but to no avail, so I ended them one by one again. When I got to the end, I found their leader. He was even uglier than the rest. All right, you need to be dead. I shall smite you. With a few more swift hits, he fell. Now it's time for the treasure. Whoa, this is crazy loot. I was so rich. I wasn't going back to the village. It was time to get the Arkenstone. This looks like a forest. What is? A giant tree ant attacked me. I ran in, striking at it with my blade. Okay, I'm, oh, 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 I'm in the air. I retreated back to heal and then returned to sacrifice it back to the earth. This forest was alive. I had to be on my guard. As I crept through the forest, I could feel a cold night touch on my corrupted soul. Uh, what's an Ent King? Oh, that's an Ent King. It was a standing tree. All of a sudden, a gust of wind began taking me up. Uh, what's going on? I can't get down. I can't get down. There's so much damage. Oh, no. Little stumps rushed at me. This was enough. I hated this forest. I sprinted in. Take this and take that. I was smoking this Ent when he did his wind burst again. I had to eat a golden apple, but I didn't let up. I ran back in and raged. Oh, no, 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 no. Wind isn't good. This isn't good. I ran off and ate another golden apple.
apple. I drove my sword through the rotting wood he possessed. It was dead. Now, time to find the Arkenstone. Gosh, I hate mountains. I began scaling the behemoth mound of stone. As I peeked over the top, I saw a giant temple or shrine. I ran for it. The Arkenstone must lay here. I ran to the front. I demand you come out. The stone is mine. Only a fool seeks this power. Who are you? I am the one who will remove the stone from your corpse. Give it to me and I'll leave you peacefully. This power should not be in one man's hands, especially one of your nature. Then I'll take it by force. So be it. Prepare to die. The monk did a ground smash, then lit up the air with these symbols. His punches were doing damage, but my sword did more. You greedy man, this power will never be yours. Say that when you're dead. The monk comboed me and sent me flying up, but I retreated and got my composure. This is going to be your last day. The monk fell. I, I had won. Dragon, emerge and scourge this puny human. What is what? The monk wielded a dragon and instantly sent me down to two hearts. This thing was crazy powerful. I was sent flying again. I had to retreat. The dragon flew at me as I clashed with my sword. All right, here we go. Final charge. He missed me with the dragon throw, but sent me down to half a heart. I had to run. The fury of the dragon will destroy you. I've had enough time to end this. Take that and that. Okay, I need to pull. Eat up here. All right, this ends. You're going down. Ah. Do not lose yourself in this power. I could care less. As the monk's soul evaporated, I saw it. The fragment of the Arkenstone. After I picked it up, I decided to poke around the monk's home to see if he had any weapons I could borrow. When I got inside, it seemed eerily empty. Ah, huh, this is an odd place for a painting. I checked around it and sure enough, Enough, I found a secret passage. When I went through, I found a small library. Inside of the library, there was a chest, and when I opened it, there was a book titled The History of Warwick. It had a lot of the history the masked figure had told me about the Arkenstone, except as the stones split and the three pieces were hidden, the dragons bestowed one upon mankind. The kingship of Warwick would always protein the Arkenstone in their line. One member of the royal family blessed with the ability to carry the Arkenstone so that it may never Never be reassembled again. I put the book away and pondered for a moment. Wait, that's... The princess! I ran out. She was the last fragment of the Arkenstone. The final piece I needed. Who approaches? It is I, Maximilian. I have brought the princess of Warwick. You know who I am. I can feel it inside you, little one. You carry the power. There's a player traveling the world, collecting the fragments of the Arkenstone you once shattered. I must find it before he finds me. You are too late, my little one. The player has collected all but one piece. He is coming for you. Where is he? He has just left the Iron Mountains. You must hide. You cannot let him rebuild the stone. Let's go. Valerian. Yes, master. Follow the princess. I do not trust them. As you wish, master. I had no idea where the princess would be. I need to track down that NPC. We've arrived. That player must be somewhere. I shall take his soul. I jumped into a river and swam across. The cool water quenched my boiling blood. He has to be close. It's all coming together. I got out of the water when I looked across the field and I saw a familiar face. We meet again. The only thing that you're meeting is my blade. You still don't understand, do you? Understand what? Have you ever had a dream, Mudflaps, that you were so sure was real? This is nonsense. The Arkenstone is mine. We ran at each other. This was no NPC. It was a player. The princess is mine. You idiot! I timed my hits to do maximum damage. It was all coming together. Soon the Arkenstone would be mine. He forced me to retreat, but I had time to eat. We faced off, then charged. Uh! Princess. Hail the dragon fire. I ran at the night. I began to swing when all of a sudden I was blown back. We go, princess. The council has words for you. As you wish. I have no choice. I ran back in. The night was gone and so was the princess. I had to find where he took her. She was my Arkenstone and I knew where to start. I arrived at the old kingdom filled with rage for they had stolen my Arkenstone. I began killing everyone in sight. All the soldiers crowded but fell one by one. 
one. As I ran, I lit the buildings on fire. I came across villagers in the town and I sliced through them. Vengeance would soon be mine. I was meant to be all powerful. I got to the main castle and entered. Stand down, men. The king walked towards me. Where did they take the princess? Most likely the kingdom of Wraith, 5,000 blocks west of here. Now, we have given you all you seek. Leave us in peace. I turned. No peace was going to come from me. I slowly blocked off the door. Peace? Maybe you shouldn't have imprisoned me. I killed the king, ran forward, and began destroying the guards. I made a pit near the entrance, then continued slaying them all. One by one, they fell. At the end of it, a few had made it into the pits. I took my flint and steel and lit them ablaze. I made my way to the throne, took out my pickaxe, and broke the seat. Under it, I found the king's armor. Inside the chest was the sword of peace and the king's helm. No peace would be given today. I grabbed the equipment and headed out. Only vengeance was on the menu. After crossing a large part of the world, I arrived. This forsaken pace pulsed with the power I was seeking. What are these floating pillars? Dead ahead was a massive castle. I moved towards it. Is that? Ah, the Black Knight and the Princess. You've come far. You seek too much power, you mean? The power will be mine. All of a sudden, the Black Knight walked off his platform into the lava. Okay, well, he's dead or not. The Knight shredded lava like it was chocolate milk. I feel no pain. The Knight rose from the lava and striked. I ran back and dealt a blow, and then again dealing critical damage, but he jolted me back with his massive sword. Mid-fight, the ground began lighting up. My heart drained and my totem popped. What is this, Dark? magic. I ran off to heal, barely surviving the Dark Knight's magic. The knight then employed a shield barrier. I could do no damage to him as he walked forward on me. I was winning the fight. All of a sudden, the knight threw down his shield. I was so close to the Arkenstone, he was not defeating me. The knight heaved a massive blow. I need to get out. Oh my goodness. My totem popped. It was giving me regeneration, so I continued to fight. And this is where you die. He had fallen, and the princess stepped in behind him. We can rule together. Let me help you. No. I struck and the princess fell. <laughs> the power, the power was all mine. What is this? The dark knight dropped some sort of bow. I was running off when all of a sudden... Mud flaps. I turned and fired an arrow. Oh, what is that? I ran to the edge as fire rained down from the sky. I had never seen anything like this before. I ran across the field, dodging the fire strike and tried to land a hit on his leg when he picked me up. Oh, no, no, I'm so high, I'm so high. The dragon dropped me, but I was able to clutch out of it. I shot another arrow at the dragon when he went up on his hind legs, and as I looked up, I saw the sky turn to fire. I'd fly, I'd fly. The Arkenstone it was calling to me. My sword lit up with symbols of ancient pasts. I sprinted and jumped at the dragon's Mud flaps, death is upon you, you foolish mortal. Oh no. Black fire rained from the sky. I had never seen anything like it. Uh, I. I. Uh.